Peggy 18. Hey everybody, Zachary Levi here, just outside of San Francisco, California, at world-class development studio Crystal Dynamics, whose current project is the reimagining of the Tomb Raider franchise. From now until the game launches, we're going to be hopping around the globe, bringing you exclusive first looks at some of the key ingredients that are shaping and creating this world. First stop, Digital Domain, Los Angeles, California, to meet one of the most crucial pieces of the Tomb Raider puzzle, Lara Croft herself. I'm Zachary Levi, and these are the final hours of Tomb Raider. Digital Domain. This is where they do a lot of mocap for big Hollywood films and video games like Tomb Raider. And today, we are going to meet the new Lara Croft, who is around here somewhere. <laughs> Teaser! And this. This is where the magic happens. I think that might be the new Lara Croft. That's the new Lara Croft. Since 1996, many actors have played the part of Lara Croft, but for the reboot of this franchise, the team conducted an exhaustive international search for someone who could bring a whole new level of emotion to a character who's become so familiar. In late 2010, a young, English-born actress was chosen to become one of the most recognizable characters in video games. My name is Camilla Luddington. I'm a British actress living in Los Angeles. I am the voice and character of Lara Croft, the British heroine. When I was first approached for it, I, I really felt overwhelmed at the honor of playing an icon like Lara Croft. Um, I think I screamed in my car, actually, when I, when I heard that I got the role. Lara Croft, one of the most iconic female characters in all of Game Dome. This is really her origin story, how Lara became the super badass that she is in later exactly. years. She is just a young, naive, perhaps 21-year-old who has a thirst for adventure. We're used to seeing Lara Croft as just the cold-hearted, almost killer, and she's a badass and everything. But I think in this, you see her struggle. You can do this, Lara. Please come and get me. When we went through the process of looking for actresses the world over, I mean, this was Europe, this was LA, we had hundreds and hundreds of actresses that were whittled down, and we ended up with Camilla. She had sort of that rawness that we wanted. We, you know, somebody who not only wanted the part, but was willing to push her character into that emotional area that we wanted. Let's learn a little bit about Camilla. Where are you from? I am from a town in England called Ascot in Berkshire. And it's oh, like those things you wear around your neck. <laughs> really didn't do TV or, or film or anything until I got here in Los Angeles. But really, I had a stage background, which I also think helps though with this because this is almost feels like forming on a stage. It's... Yes! So here we are. This is performance capture stage. The volume. The volume, they call it. Oh, that's interesting. You'll have to explain that to me later. I uh, don't know why. I think maybe it's like a, like a measurement thing, like height and width and depth I'm gonna and go that with yes. creates volume. Gonna, yeah. Oh, math sure. nerd. Oh. <laughs> and you also do get nifty props. Yes, and what's a fun fact about careful, this? Careful, careful, careful. Oh, you can hit somebody. Jeez. Wow. Is that um, <laughs> they'll put Velcro on this and they'll be like, OK, you're going to have a gun and another gun and they'll just stick to you. How much Velcro does a bazooka need to stay on tightly? Uh, a lot. There had to have been a lot of pressure as far as being the new Lara. It was intimidating. Did you but... go run around in the woods? <laughs> did you uh, <laughs> go hunt boar with a bow and arrow? Well, what's funny is I actually did archery when I was a kid. It oh, was, really? Yeah. At the time, you were thinking, why do I need archery? You know, when am I going to use a bow and arrow? And, and now, now I know Interestingly why. Interestingly <laughs> enough. No. No! Is Lara a video game icon? A sex symbol? I think she is both. Oh! Obviously, she's a game icon. But I also think she's a sex symbol because she fights for what she believes in. Um, she's courageous. And I think those things are, are sexy. The shorts are gone. But That's I, a <laughs> Which I'm sure most guys will think is a bummer. I like her new look. Yes, she's still gorgeous. But now she's a person. Camilla brings truth. She is truly uh, breathing life into Lara Croft. And when Lara is, is supposed to be going through this an emotional scene, you'll see tears streaming down Camilla's face, and it's real. People ran over to her, like, are you okay? Like, she's got mascara running and tears streaming down her cheeks, and she's like, oh yeah, 
<laughs> and you're like, wow. When I got this roll at first, I did not even know that I would be crying so much. I just thought I'd be kicking butt. That was, that was the <laughs> Lara that I thought I'd gotten myself into. This was some of the most emotionally and physically draining work that I'd ever done. This is the very first time I get to see this. So the fans have now seen Lara's first kill. What was that moment for you like? Intense, for sure. Probably one of the hardest things to film. She has to fight for her life. It's fascinating how she reacts to that. You know, she doesn't just walk away from that first kill. It really gets to her when you see her become Lara Croft. Camilla Luddington is our new Lara Croft. Strong, spunky, gorgeous. Brave. How did she get so brave? Excellent question. We're going to cover that in our next installment when we sit down with the writers who crafted the origin story of Laura Croft. Don't miss it.